Hello everyone, in this video we are going to create the HUD of our game. More specifically, we are going to create prefabs to show the player number of lives and its score. We are going to start by creating a generic text prefab class. We need this class because we want a prefab that extends phaser.text instead of phaser sprite. As you may have imagined, this class will be very similar to the prefab class, except, except it calls the constructor of phaser.text. So, like the prefab class, it has to save the game state, its name, add itself to the group, and add itself to the prefabs. The only difference is that it extends phaser.text, so it has to pass the parameters of this class, like the text and the style. With the text prefab created, we can create the score prefab extending it. The only thing we have to implement in this prefab is its update method, which will keep updating to show the current score. So here it extends text prefab and you're going to implement the update method. So we're going to update its text to be fruits plus the current game score. Notice that we are updating the score from the game state, so you have to add it to the level state as well. In this video, it will start as zero. So here, we initialize the score as zero. But as we add fruits to the, to the game, the score will increase as the player cut the fruits. The last HUD element we are going to create, we are going to show the player number of lives. This will be an invisible prefab that will create a copy of itself for each player life. So in the constructor, we have to iterate through each one of the player lives, creating a sprite for each. So we start by making it invisible. We set the, we get the number of lives from the properties. And we are going to create an array with all the live sprites. So for each life, we have to create a phaser sprite to represent this life. To receive the game, we can calculate the position by the position of the life pref HUD prefab plus a spacing which comes from the properties. So you can use a custom uh, spacing for different HUD elements. The texture will be the same of the live prefab. So the the live sprites will be copies of the prefab. Then we add it to the live sprites array. And we add it to the HUD group. We also need to implement a die method, which will reduce the player number of lives when he cuts a bomb. This method will decrease the current number of lives and kill the last life sprite from the live sprite list. So it starts by decreasing the number of lives, then it gets the last life from the list and kill it. This will remove it. Then we have to check if the player has remaining lives. If th this was the last life, it's game over. So we have to call the game over method in game state. Since the game over method is called from game state, we have to implement it in level state. So here we're going to do that. We do that simply by restarting the state. We also need to add the two new prefabs in the JSON file, in the prefab class property and in the JSON file. So here they are in the prefab classes, the score, which calls fruit ninja score constructor, 
and the lives, which calls Fruit Ninja lives constructor. Finally, we can add those two prefabs in our JSON level to see them in your game. So I added them here. The score, which is from type score. I set a position relative to the game dimensions, so it's 5% of the width and 5% of the height. The initial text is just fruits. The style is here, the fill is here, and the group is HUD. For the lives prefab, the type is lives. The positions is also relative to the game dimensions. The texture is the sword image, and the group is HUD. The initial number of lives is 3, and the live spacing is 50. You can try different values to see how they work and find the ones you it looks better for you. So let's check if it's working. Here they are. The initial score, which is 0, and the initial number of lives, which is 3. So to summarize, we created two prefabs for HUD elements. One that extends text prefab and shows the current score and one that shows the player number of lives creating copies of itself. And that's it for this lesson. Thank you for watching and bye.